Hi, welcome to the Stella P overview video, uh, module one, introducing Stella. I'm Abby Miller from the HUD SNAPS office, and I'm really excited to share Stella P with you. We've made the Stella overview series into the seven modules you see here. And if this is your first time meeting Stella, we recommend you view these modules sequentially. The format is gonna allow you to review specific topics as needed without having to rewatch the whole series. Our goal is to end homelessness. And how are we going to know if we've ended homelessness? Meaning that homelessness is rare, brief, and one time. We look to data to help us understand how our homeless crisis response systems are doing and to identify areas for improvement. Without data and the capacity to analyze it, we don't know where we are in our shared work to prevent and end homelessness. And this is true both at the federal level and locally in your COC. So Stella is a new tool for COCs to help you understand how well your system is doing at preventing and ending homelessness. With this data, COCs can really focus on improving performance in really key ways. Stella comes as a package. The first part is Stella performance. And this part really helps you understand what's happening in your system now. And then the other part of Stella, Stella modeling, helps you test out the impact of inventory and investment changes on performance in your system. Stella performance is available now. Um, and at the time of recording, Stella modeling is still under development. So we recommend that you check back to the Stella landing page on HUD Exchange for updates on Stella modeling's release. The LSA, which stands for Longitudinal Systems Analysis, is a new report that COCs submitted to the Homelessness Data Exchange version two, otherwise known as HDX 2.0, for the first time in 2019 in place of the old AHAR table shells. And as with the AHAR table shells, this report allows HUD to understand the demographics of the people who are served in continuum programs that are tracked in HMIS, and it also helps expand our capacity to create state and continuum level estimates of the people served on an annual basis. And finally, it helps us understand how well the homeless response system decreases people's homeless experiences and helps them permanently exit homelessness to permanent housing. Stella Performance provides a visualization of this LSA data set. There's other data available through the LSA that may be released in future updates to Stella P or that COCs can analyze themselves. Stella is accessed through the LSA module in HDX 2.0. To get started, check out the Stella P Quick Start Guide and Preparing LSA Files for Stella P, and both of these are available on the HUD Exchange. These resources are gonna walk you through the steps of getting into HDX 2.0 what we call Stellavizing, your LSA data set, and then viewing Stella. Here's some Stella P basics. Stella relies on household level data, which is really important for system planning purposes since resource needs are planned at the household level. So we look at household composition rather than all individuals experiencing homelessness. And there are three main household types, adults only, adult and child, and child only, that we use to help plan for service needs. The data includes all emergency shelter, safe haven, transitional housing, rapid rehousing, and permanent supportive housing projects that are entering data into HMIS. Stella does not currently include data from street outreach, services only programs, or coordinated entry. Exits are system level exits, meaning the last exit to a destination outside the system during the report period. There's no agency or project level information here. System level performance is really the only way to know about the length of time homeless and returns to the system. So Stella does not provide project performance. The system performance measures, or SPMs as we call them, and Stella measure similar outcomes, but with some key differences in the way that performance measures are calculated. And the key differences are 
that the Stella universe is at the household level, as I said before, while the SPM universe is people served. Stella looks at returns by household. And it won't count returns by people who are in the original household, but now are in a different household because of that household level focus. The SPMs look at returns by person, so all returns get counted. Both Stella and the SPMs report time homeless prior to the report period, but Stella allows for a seven day gap while system performance measures do not. Periods of less than seven days between project enrollments are not considered a break in the continuity of homelessness and are continued to be included within the count of days homeless, which is consistent with the concept of being continually homeless for chronic homeless purposes. The SPM report considers only consecutive or contiguous dates. A gap of a single day is treated as a break. As a result, the lengths of time homeless in Stella are likely to extend further back in time than those in the SPMs. However, if your COC makes improvements in the length of time homeless or in the portion of households exiting to permanent destinations or the numbers of households returning to homelessness, you'll likely see improvements in both Stella and your SPMs. Take a look at the document quick reference differences between LSA and SPM reporting logic on the HUD exchange for more information on this. Stella P does more than analyze your data. It is a communication tool that you can use to support a data quality culture and get stakeholder buy-in to improve data quality. Stella P really makes system performance data accessible and helps ground that data quality improvement in a higher purpose, which is understanding system performance to improve your system and reduce homelessness. Stella is not a magic bullet to solve all of your data quality problems, but it gets you on the right path. It makes data completeness issues visible so that you can see the impact that that has on your system. In this chart, we see the impact that missing exit destination has on the measure of exits to permanent housing. With 57% of the households exiting to unknown destinations, we don't have an accurate understanding of how the homeless crisis response system is doing at helping people get into housing because we don't have enough data to really see. So once you've identified a potential data quality issue in Stella P, you might need to look elsewhere for more information. In this example, you'd wanna look at project level reports to understand which projects have these high rates of missing destination data and that allows you then to work with the providers to increase the data quality. There are many resources available on the Stella HUD Exchange page. And here's a list of what's available, of course, at the time of recording, but more resources are always coming. So check back frequently. In order to see Stella P with local data from your COC, you'll need to access Stella through HDX 2.0. Take a look at the resources Stella P Quick Start Guide and preparing LSA files for Stella P on the HUD Exchange. You can submit questions about Stella or the LSA to the Ask a Question help desk with the topic HDX. The next six videos are gonna guide you through a demonstration of all of the charts available in Stella P using a sample data set. As a reminder, this is the first of seven separate Stella modules uh, module two will cover the Stella P dashboard. As a reminder, this is the first of seven separate modules on Stella P. Module two is going to cover the Stella P dashboard. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy your time with Stella P.